Hello, welcome to Taurus Thought. I'm Pino Gri, and today I am going to review the first episode of Madoka Magica. Let's go! This is a spoiler warning. Don't watch from here if you don't want spoilers. So this is an opening episode establishing um, the storyline, who the characters are. Madoka is, of course, the first uh, main character. Um, and she's having a dream in the ep- beginning of the episode. Uh, there's this big fight going on, a mysterious girl with really long hair, who we later learn is Homura. And um, she's going to lose, and then Madoka's given the chance to make a contract uh, and become a magical girl or something to change what's going on. And suddenly, she wakes up, and it was all a dream. She goes about her day, her little brother eats food after she helps wake up her mom and goes to school. And then we meet her other friends. I can't remember the third girl's name, but the second girl with hair kind of like mine. Um, what's her name? Sayaka. It's a very, a very good and energetic friend, it would seem. Um, and then, you know, kind of embraces her while teasing her about boys and love letters. And I think maybe is possibly <laughs> expressing her own feelings for Madoka, perhaps a little. And then, you know, this mysterious new girl arrives, and it's the girl from the dream, Homura, who is very cool and has this nice aloof act. Everybody thinks she's awesome. But there's kind of some strange things, aren't there? She has... she's very good at everything, and she also seems really maybe bored. But she displays strange, intimate knowledge. She knows Madoka's special position as the nursing aide. She asks Madoka to show her the way to the nurse's office because she's not feeling well, which is her excuse for leaving the attentions of the inquiring, curious classmates. But she already knows the way it would seem. She leads Madoka there. And then they have a moment where she gets angry and turns around at Madoka and lectures her about not changing herself. And then the episode continues into the, um, I think, the shopping complex or mall or something, where Madoka encounters the strange creature again, which is being hunted by Homura. And then something fantastic happens. They fall out of this world. And here, it's revealed to be the presence of a witch, but I love this art style. Um, Knopsia is the strange, eerie feeling when suddenly you're in a place that was populated but is now abandoned, and somehow a place devoid of the human activity that normally sustains it. It sort of reveals like a truth about the world, Um, but it's always hard to pin down exactly what that is. It's more something that we just feel rather than phrase, I think. So then... The, uh, we meet another magical girl after Homura is very threatening um, and we rescue the small animal whose name I know is Kyube. Um and that's pretty much where the episode closes off uh, it would sit excellent starting episode doesn't waste a lot of time I really like the art style of the witches I like how totally different it is to the normal world and it's all of these motifs and themes that are bound together in a way that they should be, but according to an alien logic. It describes a lot of psychic pain, I believe, especially with things like barbed wire and maybe like a rose stem and scissors and, you know, that chick 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 choky choky noise of a scissors is somehow, as a very small child, impactful. Um, isn't it like Japanese? Um, gardening scissors specifically have that noise tuned into them I believe of like a good scissors should make a little noise but it's visceral we can feel it inside so then now my super spoiler territory I have already watched in the past up to episode 4 ooh yes and I have this that there the teacher um, talks about some grammatical tense, the future perfect, where something in the future will have already been completed. 
And then I had this moment of inspiration. What if we're not watching Madoka's story, but we're watching Homura's story? There's very much a feeling like this old movie Groundhog's Day, where Homura is repeating the same thing over and over. This is why she knows all of the formulas and she can do them by rote. This is why she knows who Madoka is, what her position is, and the way to the nurse's office. So then what if that dream was actually the ending and thus the beginning of Homura's story? Madoka made a wish, like a contract I guess, and somehow altered the story, reset it. And she can't remember, but Homura can. Then we see a lot of foreshadowing open up in that idea. Madoka's little brother eating, he has these red stained lips with his food, and his hand kind of descends down and hits like a tomato, which is this red thing that falls off. And I think we know in, what is it, episode three, um, Mommy the dies. And doesn't Mommy sound a little bit like Mama? Madoka becomes very upset, but we see that foreshadowing. Um, we see a little bit more shadow foreshadowing than in Sayaka's uh, I can't let you have any boys, I need you for yourself. That might be Homura's own feeling, that she is quite attracted to Madoka. And we see that in the opening credits during their transformation that has some kind of homage to Sailor Moon, I think. At least it reminds me of that. But it seems like a very intimate moment together. <clears throat> and then, um, even maybe the blanket that uh, Madoka's mother is in, it's kind of detached from the world in the way that the witch's, at least its texture, in the way that the witch's world was. And so when Madoka gets angry, she's actually welling up with emotion, probably sadness by this view. And she whips around to say to Madoka to try to warn her, don't do it again this time. Don't reset the cycle. Continue to be who you are, even if that leads to my own death. As your lover, that is what I wish. Hmm. I think it's going to be a very big and sad story. The director has informed me that we are now adding episodes 2, 3, and 4 to the review. So, I remember in episode 4, Madoka says to Homura, I'll never forget you, or something to that effect. And in Homura's reply, even by her non-reply, I very much heard her say, but you already have forgotten me many times. I hope that my theory might be true, but I also look forward to a lot of surprises. A nice surprise from you would be like, subscribe, be wonderful. We'll see you next episode. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give us a comment and subscribe our channel. See you in next video.